Happy Friday on a nice 11 and four run. And we got a huge 15 game slate. Let's talk some basketball. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back in to another episode for just a bet outside. I am your host, Steven, and we are here on the final Friday of the NBA regular season. And my goodness, we have a lot of basketball, 15 games. Everybody is playing. So we're almost the NBA playoffs and we are on 11 and four run after a nice little two and zero mini sweep. Hopefully we can keep this momentum rolling right into the play in tourney and the NBA playoffs. And let me tell you, I cannot wait for the playoffs because I am just kind of over watching, you know, bad teams play their third stringers, guys resting, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, let's see if we can keep that rolling. But before we get into it, go check out that MLB best bets video, best bets video. We give out a ton of research help, our best bets, which have been a little ice cold this week. That's kind of an understatement. So um, anyways, but we're ready to turn it around. we got a huge Friday show, so go check that out. Um, but I'm ready to get into it. We got a lot of games to talk about, or a lot of bets to talk about. So um, it's the final Friday dad joke. How sad. I know some of you are just saying, thank goodness. But here we go. I got one from a um, commenter and one from me. At Slickwell6039. We've been mentioning his name a lot. My Bluetooth speaker wasn't working, so I threw it into the lake. Now it's sinking. That's pretty good. I like that one. And then here's mine. There was once a king who was 12 inches tall. He made a great ruler. That, again, was corny, and I love it. All right, in this video, we're going to recap yesterday. Like I said, 2-0 mini sweep, and then talk defenses that give up the most points, rebounds, and assists to the center position, and we got a lot of matchup, especially for the points. And then, of course, we'll give our best bets and wrap it all up with the bets recap. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below like you guys have been doing over and over again all season long as we are like 50 away from 23,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys. We appreciate the support. Let's get into it, and it starts with the recap. There it is, a nice, simple 2-0 day. Josh Hart over 14 and a half RAs. How about 14 and a half time? I have no idea what he ended up with, but he went well over. He was an absolute beast today for us. And then Trey Murphy over 24 and a half PRAs. The funny thing about that is Josh Hart had 14 and a half time on the hook, and Trey Murphy had 24 PRAs at halftime. I mean, these two bets were just super uh, low-stress winners. At my age, I need that, so I like it. Anyways, that's we picked up our 200th win of the year. We are now up 7.74 units. Let's see if we can get up to 10 units on the year before we hit the playoffs. Uh, but it's nice to be on a little run, that's for sure, at this time of the year. But that's the bets recap. And now let's talk the big men. All right, guys, here we go. These are the defenses giving up the most points to the center position. We have the most arrows we have had all season long on one page. And it just looks ridiculous. Let's face it. I mean, in case you guys want to comment that, I'll just say it out loud now. It looks ridiculous. But you can follow the colors. We'll we'll get through this. There's a ton of matchups, guys. Hornets playing Chris S. Porzingis if he plays. Uh, Pacers playing Jared Allen and the Cavs. 16.9 points per game. Pacers giving up almost 27. Raptors facing Bam Adebayo, who's averaging 16 points per game. Um, and then the Grizzlies facing Anthony Davis. If he plays 21.7 again, I wasn't going to go through every single person and see if they're for sure playing. Everybody is questionable, it seems like. So just make sure you do your research. Um, but then we got the Nuggets down there playing Wet Bananas. And then the Spurs on the other side playing Jokic, the MVP of the 2024 season. So we had a ton of matchups. Hopefully this helps you get some winners. I think there's going to be some good uh, center position bets. Uh, for Friday. But anyways, that's the points. Take a screenshot. Let's go check out the rebounds now. It's not a misprint. I don't even understand it. I checked it twice. If I made a mistake, I apologize. There are no matchups. I have no idea how you can get as many as points matchups, but no rebounds. But here we are. So anyways, those are the guys. Those are the defenses. Raptors, Pacers up there again. Raptors are just struggling against anybody in the paint right now. And then Sabonis leading the way with 14.7 rebounds. So there's the rebound. Let's check out the assists now. And we only got two matchups. So the Spurs, again, facing Jokic, 8.9 assists per game. Spurs giving up 5.33. And the Raptors, again, facing Bam Adebayo, 4.3 assists per game. Raptors giving up five and a quarter. And those are the rest of the guys for the assists. So that's the points, rebounds, and assists for the big men. And now it's time for the best bets. All right, this segment of the show is brought to you by our sponsor, Better Bet. That's BTR Bet, the best place to find, track, analyze, and share your bets. Click that link below in the description. All right, we have an absolute ton of games, but the sports books are not dropping all the lines yet. So 
I'm going to give you two bets in this video and then three leans at the end. I'm definitely going to be adding plays in the morning just to let you guys know, but that's why I'm not getting a ton because we do this the night before and the books are a little slow today. So here we go. First one takes us out to New York City. We got the Knicks hosting the Brooklyn Nets. Knicks minus 10 and a half. Total is 210 and a half in this one. It's going to be quick. It's going to be simple. You probably already know what I'm doing. Rinse and repeat. Josh Hart over 15 and a half rebounds plus assists at minus 115 on ESPN bet. Yes, the line moved from 14 and a half to 15 and a half from yesterday. And I don't really care. He had like 21 rebounds and assists yesterday against the Celtics in only 31 minutes. And I say only 31 because this is the guy that has played 48 minutes before. So um, he had tw- uh, 14 at halftime, guys. 14 RAs at halftime. Like I mentioned, he is an absolute monster. He is in playoff mode. Um, this line should have opened at 16 and a half. Um, wouldn't be surprised if it's even 17 and a half by tip off. He is over 15 and a half rebounds plus assists now in nine of his last 10 games. Nine of his last 10. He has a 90% hit rate. The books are still dropping this line too low, in my opinion. Um, he's going to get a better matchup than the Celtics, where he had 14 and one half. Um, so yes, blowout is a worry, but if he continues to play this way with the millions of rebound chances and potential assists that he is getting, um, I love this one. And I also, if you don't want to go this one and go back to the well, it can be a little scary. Um, I also like double double at plus one forty five. I also like over nine and a half rebounds on its own. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you could slice this. But um, if you want even more details, I may have went into more um, on Thursday's video. But give me Josh Hart over 15 and a half rebounds plus assists. Adding one more to the line is not going to scare me away. But that is my first best bet. All right, this second one takes us out to San Antonio, Texas. We got the Spurs hosting the Denver Nuggets. Nuggets minus 10.5, total in this game, 224.5. Nuggets still playing for that first seed, uh, so I I do think they're going to play pretty hard here. Uh, But my best bet in this game is Jamal Murray over 22.5 points plus rebounds at minus 105 on DraftKings. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, the fact that they have motivation for seeding and all that, it plays a big part of this because otherwise they might be resting guys like Jokic and Jamal Murray. Uh, but Murray just faced the Spurs a few weeks ago and had 25 points plus rebounds. And he also went six for 16 shooting that game. So um, I just absolutely love this matchup. Uh, when it comes to playoff time, as you've heard me say many times before, I like the big time players. And Jamal Murray is as big time as it gets, as we saw when they won a title last year. But the Spurs giving up the fifth most points and the eighth most rebounds to the point guard position. Um, And in that last game when Jamal Murray had 25, he had 10 rebounds. Guys, if he gets 10 rebounds, this should be easy because 13 points should not be a lot for him. Um, So if he's going to get a ton of rebounds, I think it's going to help. And that's why I went there. The assists were about even. Um, You could go PRAs, but I just like points and rebounds a little more. Um, He's averaging 21 points per game also this season. That's almost right there already. So he could easily get to some points alone. We know that. Um, Blowout risk. There's a blowout risk in every single game right now. I'm not going to try to predict it. The fact that it's on the road, maybe. Maybe the Spurs get up for this game. But as long as they can keep it somewhat competitive. uh, When Jamal Murray's played 27 or more minutes, he has gone over this line in 12 of his last 15 games. So 27 or more minutes played. If he can get there. 12 of his last 15. It's a good hit rate and a very good matchup. Um, so hopefully the Spurs aren't down 25 by the end of the first quarter and at least somewhat keep it competitive. Um, but I like Jamal Murray over 22 and a half PRs. I also like his over PRAs. So um, those are my two best bets. I know you're thinking, why only two? If you skip the first part, there are just not a lot of props out right now. There will be at least two drop tomorrow, more than likely, um, and maybe one, but we'll see. I do want to be careful at this time of the year, even though we're on a good run. But my three leans in this game, Raptors plus 15 and a half. I looked at that number and I was like, you got to be kidding me. I've seen that 14 and a half on some books. Um, the Heat have only won seven games this year by 16 or more points. So take that for what it is. I know the Raptors suck. But again, we're playing the number here. Emmanuel Quickly and RJ Barrett are back. So they do have some actual good NBA players on their team. Um, so I think 15 and a half is too much. I think, you know, they're going to probably rest some starters if they have a big lead. Raptors could come and cover it in the fourth quarter, things like that. So that's one lean. Another one, Embiid. He, his lines were out, and then they t- got taken off, and I haven't seen them since. But if you can get like an over 30 and a half points, 29 and a half for sure. But if you can get over 30 and a half points, 
um, I would absolutely jump on it. I think Joel Embiid has a big game here. Um, they're playing for seeding. They want to stay out of that uh, play and tourney. They could knock the Magic in. It's just a very intense game. He's already gone over this line against the Magic earlier this season. So I think it's Embiid time now. Um, he's not going to be um, watching his minutes and all that. It's playoff mode. So give me Embiid. And then the third one, Jared Allen under 17 and a half points. I know it's a little tricky. It might be a sweaty one, but with Evan Mobley, Mitchell, Garland, all the boys are back. He becomes uh, more of a third or fourth wheel in the offensive end. Still grabs a ton of rebounds, but when it comes to scoring and playoff mode, it's Donovan Mitchell, it's Darius Garland, it's Evan Mobley. He is now under in three straight, so I think their books are just a little bit slow to this. Um, you know, he's playing the Pacers. You know, it is a decent matchup, but um, Pacers can struggle against some guards, and I think Donovan Mitchell has a big game here, so... I do not mind Jared Allen to go under 17 and a half points for the fourth straight game. But again, these three are not official bets or anything. These are just three I'm giving you because I don't have every game to work with right now. These are just three lanes that I like. Um, and then again, I will have another added play, one or two added bets in the pinned comments on X and on Discord. All right, that's what we got. Let's check out the bets recap. All right, there it is. Josh Hart over 15 and a half rebounds plus assists at minus 115 on ESPN bet. And then Jamal Murray, over 22.5 points plus rebounds at minus 105 on DraftKings. Give me two big-time players in big-time games. That's right. So, again, more added plays will be in the pinned comments below. Uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate it, man. This is a, a huge Friday for MLB and NBA. Um, so be sure to go check out that MLB video as well. But thanks for the support during the entire season. And uh, hope everyone has a great Friday. And we'll talk to you soon.